Hey guys, uh, this is Icarus. I'm uh, bringing you here a quick video. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for this. How do you um, automate starting and stopping all of your proxies so you make it very simple? And how do you get the information uh, in a way that you can transfer it to a bot in a very simple way? Um, we're going to go ahead and go through that and uh, we're going to use what's called a uh, Cloud Shell. So we're in our homepage. Um, these are the main two proxy groups that we're going to do, and uh, we're going to hit Activate Cloud Shell. Once you've activated your Cloud Shell, you want to go ahead and launch your code editor. Alright, we're up and running. Alright, so we have our Cloud Shell uh, set up here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script, and that script is going to do two steps, it's, um, and it's going to iterate, so it's going to go over and over. Uh, it's going to identify a project and change to that project, and then issue a command in that project. And it's going to change project, issue a command in that project. And if you have five projects, you do this five times, all in a single script. Um, in this case, we have two projects. So um, the first thing we're going to do is, once you're in the command shell, you're going to do touch. Um, startup. .sh. This is just a name. You can you can call it whatever you, you want to. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do chmod 700 startup .sh. Uh, don't worry. I'll put all this in the comments below. Um, all right. So we're gonna run that. What this does is it allows you to actually execute this script. Otherwise, you can't execute it. All right. So I'm um, gonna double click on startup .sh. And we're going to do shebang. Yes. Yeah, that's the actual name. And so bin bash. And then we are going to change to the project. So we're going to do, um, we're going to issue this command gcloud config set project ID. And we're gonna, what project ID? How do you get that? So um, you can go to your home directory, but you can, easy way to do it is you can just drop down here in this grab the ID. So we're going to do proxy one group. So proxy one group, this ID, not this name. All right. And you're going to replace that. All right. And then uh, what you want to check here is um, you want to change this CRLF. You want to click on this and you want to make sure it's on LF. All right. We're going to save. And we're going to test this. So, what, what, the, just to make sure that, that we've got th uh, everything right so far, we're going to do bin bash. We're going to run this. So, this number you'll see change to proxy one group. So, dot startup dot sh. We're going to hit run, and it changed. You see here. All right. So, this script has started well. Now we're actually going to tell it what to do. All right. So, we're going to take this command here. And gcloud compute instance groups managed resize. And now this for its proxy, we're going to replace it with the name of the instance group for proxy one group. So we're going to actually switch to proxy one group just to check. We're going to grab this name, control C, and we're going to paste that over here. And we're going to update the zone to the zone that that instance group is in. So you US East 4A. So this is assuming that your instance group is set to a single zone, and then you're there, and then we're setting it to eight, just the max number you can set in a project. All right. So now we're going to repeat this, rinse and repeat. We're just going to add this for project two. All right. So we're going to go back here. We're going to grab our ID for proxy two. We're going to replace this. All right, and we're going to grab the, we're actually going to go ahead and switch to that group. And we're going to grab this name for the instance group. And we're going to change that. Now, if you're neat and concise and, and you're consistent with your stuff, you can actually make these things kind of match. Nice, but here we go. We're done. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to run the command. How do you run it? Like we did before, dot slash startup. .sh. All right, so we're going to start. There we go. So it's switched to the project. And it's now issuing the command. It's issued the command to start eight proxies. 
um, it's now gone to the second project here, you can see it, and it's now issued a command to, to make eight more proxies. So we just made 16 proxies. So how do you get that information out? So this is saved. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type cp startup. So we're going to copy this file. We're going to make another one called uh, an, uh, list proxy.sh. Just made that name up. List proxy uh, and then we're going to do that same command chmod 700 list proxy.sh. Okay. Now we're going to double click, and it looks identical. You just open up a new tab here. Let's go ahead and close this. Right. So we're going to use the same thing. We're going to set the project, and then we're going to issue it a command. But this is not the command we want. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, open up. Uh, we're going to replace this line here. We're going to replace this line here. And don't worry. You know, like I said, I'll put I'll put these in the comments below. Um, so G, or in the description below. So G Cloud Compute Instance List Awk running blah 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 right the cool part it here so this number picks the uh, the IP if you want the internal IP you switch this to, th to the number four um, I'll do another video on how to use internal IPs um, the port the ID and the password that you have for your projects so we're gonna save and then we're gonna actually go ahead and type internal I'm oh, sorry, uh, listproxy.sh. Make this a little bit bigger. All right, I'm going to run. So there you go. I just listed your proxies. Now you can copy and paste this, assuming you replaced your ID and password, and you can just paste this into your bot. Now, something cooler is that you can actually issue the command in a different way. You can do listproxy. Uh, greater than, and then you give it a file. So call uh, myip.txt. Hit that command. It's going to run, and you'll see this myip.txt here. So I just double click on this. Control, control A, control C, and then I just paste this into my uh, into my bot, and I'm good to go. Right. So cool. All right, so now we've created IPs. We have, I mean, sorry, we created, we started up 16 proxies. We got a list pretty quickly, and now we want to shut shut it off. So now we're going to do this same command. We're going to do CP, uh, let's see, uh, startup, actually. We're going to do startup.sh, and we're going to call this shutdown.sh. Dot sh so cp just copy startup dot sh and make shutdown dot sh chmod seven zero zero shutdown dot sh and now you should have a shutdown dot sh up here double click on that and this is the easiest one because we've already done all the work we're going to change this to zero we're going to save and we're going to shut down dot sh and it's actually shutting down all of our proxies. And if you want to test that, you can do just, uh, uh, what was it, list proxies. Let's say just run the command and you'll see that nothing pops up. All right, so, so here's a, a recap. You've, cr you've created these scripts. Uh, the drop is about to start and uh, we're gonna leave here. Right, so you're going to log into your Google console. You know the drop's going to happen. I don't know, and you know, the, you know you want to prepare, right? So let's say the drop Saturday, Friday night. You're going to have everything ready. You log into Google. You click on this activate cloud shell. It's going to start up, and you're going to type sl dot slash startup dot sh. Right, so it's all going up. Um, if you go to the code editor, this is actually, I actually 
shipments before this is now we're gonna do um, we're gonna do the list so list proxy and we're gonna do my IP dot text it's going to replace that file so my IP dot text I would um, once it's done I would double click on it copy and paste put it into my bot run 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 you're done you want to shut everything down you come back in in here and just do shut uh, dot slash shut down dot sh and it's going to shut everything down all right so um i hope this was helpful i hope it wasn't too long um once you create this script it's really easy to start and shut down uh proxies um, if you're in a situation that you're in the middle of a drop and all your proxies get banned you can do the startup you can do a shutdown and startup and it's going to give you pretty much all new IPs and then you grab your IPs and just put them back in your bot and you keep running um, so it's a good way to reset your your bots um, I mean reset your proxies whenever you need and uh, yeah I don't know it is what it is <laughs> hope th hope this helped you guys thanks